This is the timeline video produced by investigators. It begins with an Arlington County patrol officer hearing what sounded like gunshots near Fields Park. Just had another flare go off here. Police say 56 year old James Yu was firing flares from the window of his duplex on North Burlington Street. Officers responded and tried to make contact. Arlington County Police, stop shooting the flares! Over the next 25 minutes, police say they heard the sound of 41 flares being fired. Police surrounded the home, evacuated nearby residents, and tried to talk James Yu out of the house. Neighbors told police that Yu was reclusive and barely went outside. The windows were covered up with trash bags. A neighbor also reported odd behaviors by the suspect, such as having a large quantity of charcoal, lighter fluid, and bleach delivered to the house months prior to this incident. The standoff lasted for hours into the night. An armored vehicle was brought in. Natural gas to the duplex was turned off. Police say you fired gunshots inside the home. As the situation dragged on, police used the armored vehicle to breach the front door. There are more gunshots. At 8.24 p.m., hours into the standoff, the duplex explodes. Investigators say James Yu intentionally triggered the blast, igniting gas cans and flammable items in the basement. He died in the explosion. Investigators determined that the event originated in the basement of the residence, that the decedent applied gasoline in the basement of the residence and ignited the gasoline vapors. Although we are not able to determine what the specific ignition source was, the likely competent ignition sources that were identified by our investigators were multiple shotguns, a pistol, multiple flare guns, and or the use of matches or a lighter. Through the investigation to date, we have determined that the occupant of the house, James Yu, acted alone. This was an isolated incident. There was no nexus to terrorism, and there is no continuing threat to this community. Residents of the Arlington neighborhood say the report brings a sense of closure. You know, it's creepy hearing about all like, you know, stockpiling things like that. But, you know, I'm glad it's it's over with the investigation over and the findings released. Residents we spoke to say they're happy to have answers and some closure. Megan McGrath.